This portion of the Merlin Surgical System instructional videos will discuss several special topics in additional detail. Each of the following topics will be covered in its own video section. Aligning the Rolls Infinity Prism. Using the Vertical Spacer Kit. Replacing the CLA Condensing Lens. Connecting two automated Rolls Infinity Reinverters to one automated CLA. Some models of the Rolls Infinity Reinverter are designed so that the prism may be adjusted to optically align the reinverter with the microscope. This video section discusses how to align the prism for that model of Rolls Infinity Reinverter. This video pertains only to those reinverter models that have this adjustment capability. This discussion assumes that you are familiar with each of the main components of the Merlin surgical system and how they function, as well as how to install and align the system. For information on the Merlin system's installation, alignment, and its components, consult your user instruction manual. You will need to determine if your model of Rolls Infinity Reinverter includes the adjustable prism design. If your Rolls Infinity Reinverter has access holes on the right and left sides of the housing, then it has an adjustable prism. These access holes are typically protected by black covers inserted into them. Proper adjustment of the reinverter prism can reduce the amount of image shift when changing from the uninverted to the reinverted image. If you do have a Rolls Infinity reinverter with an adjustable prism design, it'll be helpful for you to refer to the user instructions that came with your device while watching this video. Adjusting the prism of the Rolls Infinity reinverter requires two tools a standard flathead screwdriver, and a 3 32nd inch hex wrench. The hex wrench is used on the right side of the Rolls Infinity. It's used to loosen and tighten two small locking bolts located inside the Rolls Infinity housing. The locking bolts are accessed through the holes in the housing when the prism is in its rear position. The locking bolt located closest to the front of the Rolls Infinity is labeled with a 1. Loosening the number 1 locking bolt allows adjustment of the prism image from front to back. Tightening the number 1 locking bolt locks the front to back adjustment in place. The locking bolt located closest to the rear of the Rolls Infinity is labeled with a 2. Loosening the number 2 locking bolt allows adjustment of the prism image from left to right. Tightening the number 2 locking bolt locks the left to right adjustment in place. The screwdriver is used on the left side of the Rolls Infinity. It's used to adjust the prism's position when the locking bolts are loosened. The screwdriver accesses the prism through the access hole on the left side of the housing. To better understand how the prism adjustment works, it's helpful to see the internal mechanics of the Rolls Infinity Reinverter. Removal of the lid is for instructional purposes only. It's not necessary to remove the lid when actually adjusting the prism position. Doing so will void the device's warranty. When the prism is moved to its rear position furthest from the user, the locking bolts slide in front of their access holes on the right side of the housing. Also, the prism adjustment slot moves in front of its access hole on the left side of the housing. First, the video will demonstrate what happens when the number one lock is loosened. The hex wrench reaches the bolt through the front access hole on the right side. The screwdriver reaches the adjustment slot through the access hole on the left side. When the number one bolt is loosened, it allows the prism to move up and down on its mounting arm. This movement makes the image in the prism shift front and back. Next, the video will demonstrate what happens when the number two lock is loosened. Again, the hex wrench reaches the bolt through the rear access hole on the right side. The screwdriver reaches the adjustment slot through the access hole on the left side. When the number two bolt is loosened, it allows the prism mounting arm to pivot, which rotates the prism slightly. This movement makes the image in the prism shift left and right. Now that you have seen how the mechanics of the prism adjustment work, you'll have a better understanding of the adjustment process. The first step in adjusting the prism of the Rolls Infinity Reinverter is to remove the black access hole covers. These covers are snap fit into place and may be removed simply by prying them out. If you have the automated Rolls Infinity model, then you must switch it to manual operation mode in order to make adjustments to the prism. Manually, move the prism to its rear location. First, adjust the front to back alignment of the prism. Access the number one bolt with a hex wrench and access the adjustment slot with a screwdriver. 
Loosen the number one bolt slightly, one quarter to one half turn at most. Gently pivot the screwdriver tip up and down to adjust the front to back alignment of the prism. Very little force is required for this adjustment and only small movements should be used. When the re-inverted image of the lens is centered from front to back, tighten the number one bolt to lock the prism in place. Next, adjust the left to right alignment of the prism. Access the number two bolt with a hex wrench and access the adjustment slot with a screwdriver. Loosen the number two bolt slightly, one quarter to one half turn at most. Gently pivot the screwdriver tip up and down to adjust the left to right alignment of the prism. Again, very little force is required for this adjustment and only small movements should be used. When the re-inverted image of the lens is centered from left to right, Tighten the number two bolt to lock the prism in place. When the prism is properly aligned, the uninverted image and the reinverted image should remain in the same approximate centered position.